Oh, hey, it's Wes. And the baby's sleeping, so I'm gonna be a little bit quiet. But while I can't make noise, I can make light. Let's get right into this. On our previous overheating test, we tested the V860 Mark III, the V860 Mark II, and the V1. So let's see how this will compare. Quick rundown. We're going to test this at one half power every four seconds until this power limits or heat limits. It's not necessarily overheating, but it's when the flash slows down and is less practical. So it's gonna get hot in here. The V860 Mark II lasted for three minutes, 56 seconds, 60 flashes. The Mark III, seven minutes, eight seconds at 107 flashes, much better. And the V1 was about the same place. They appear to be the same on the inside. The TT685 Mark II is rated for 100 shots at that level. That'll be under seven minutes. And then after this, we're gonna go on to high speed sync and see how that does. Let's get into it. We're going to take this flash and put in some freshly charged batteries. Not so fresh that they're still hot, but fresh and cooled down. And we're off to the races. Getting bright in here. It's ah, better. Well, don't look at it. That is too bright to look at. It. stopping in for this video but just so you know if you haven't been here before there will of course be an in-depth review of the TT685 coming up in addition to that afterwards I'm gonna be doing a head-to-head -head between oh no looks like we are out of time Although we haven't overheated, we have exceeded our recycle times, unfortunately. So, at this much time, what was it, 5 minutes, 16 seconds, and that many flashes, we have reached our limit. So although it wasn't supposed to stop until 7 minutes, our recycle time just isn't keeping up anymore. So let's move on to our second stage, which is high-speed sync. Let's get some fresh batteries and cool things down, and then we'll move on. Now, as last time, we're gonna set this to one two thousandth of a second for our high-speed sync, just for the sake of consistency. And let's see how this goes. I don't expect this to last very long, to be perfectly honest. Let's see, let's keep an eye on our recycle times this time. Yeah, it's already taking half of our, our interval time just to recycle this power. Yeah, we got about a two second recycle time now, which is pretty slow. And we'll see how long that uh, takes to drag things out a little further. We're approaching three seconds recycle now. So obviously the disadvantage of the TT series of flashes is that they run on AA batteries instead of lithium ion. So the recycle times are not as snappy. We're just barely getting in under the wire now. I think we're over three seconds recycle at this point. Probably three and a half seconds now. That was a close one. Three and three quarters seconds. And we missed it. Stop the clock. At this many flashes and two minutes and 14 seconds, we have exceeded our recycling. So, nothing terribly unexpected here. Honestly, we did do a little bit better here than the manual specified, which is, which is fun. Kind of interesting. Yeah, we were only supposed to get two minutes of flashes out of that, and we got a little bit more. So we got under on our regular sink flashing, and 
over on our high speed sinking. So if you want a speed demon, this is not the flash for you. But if you want to save a buck, this might be it. Wait around for the full review, but honestly, this thing now has the full screen that the other flashes have. It's just missing a little bit. And so this is a pretty compelling product. And again, subscribe, stick around to find more in-depth comparison, head-to-head, -head, and hands-on testing. Let's go take some photos.